Hi, yogis. Today's routine is a gentle, slow stretch, and we're going to begin an extended child's pose. Separate your knees as wide as comfortable with your arms out long in front of you, and let your forehead rest on the mat. Completely relax. Let your belly graze your thighs. Let go of anything that you don't need right here and now. Physical, mental, and emotional tension. Just let your breath wash it all away. Take your time as you rise and make your way to downward facing dog. Move slow in your transition so you can stay grounded and calm. In down dog, spread your fingers wide and press your chest towards your thighs as you bend one knee and then the other to open through your chest, hips, and legs. From here, step your right foot outside of your right hand for a runner's lunge. Toe heel your foot up if you need to, and then lower your back knee down to the mat. Sink into your hips, and let your head hang heavy as you deepen your breath. Try to relax the muscles in your hips and breathe deep like you were sending this breath into the areas that are demanding the most space. Slowly rise. Toe heel your right foot to the center of the top of your mat and shift your hips back for Hanumanasana prep. Straighten out your right leg and position your hips over your back knee. Try to lengthen your spine from your hips so you can round naturally and let your head hang heavy. Breathe so deep that your inhales pull your heart towards your toes, lengthening your spine and your exhales allow you to fold a little deeper. To increase sensation, reach your left hand across to grab the outside edge of your right foot to create space along your back, side body, and IT band. Release. Bend your right knee and step your back foot up to the top of your mat. Separate your feet mat distance and squat down into malasana. Bring your hands to heart center and lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. If it feels good, you can wiggle your hips side to side, opening up through your inner thighs. Now just lift your hips up and let your head hang heavy. Interlace your hands behind your lower back and roll your shoulders open as you press your knuckles away from your hips. Release your hands and step your right foot back for a runner's lunge with both hands inside of your left ankle. Lower your right knee down to the mat Soften into your hips and relax your neck so your head can hang heavy. Breathe so deep that you can feel your whole torso inflate on your inhales and deflate on your exhales. 
Let go of any unnecessary tension that you might be holding in your eyebrows or jaw. And focus on this deep breath. For Hanumanasana prep, toe heel your left foot between your hands and shift your hips back as you straighten out your left leg. Hinge from your hips as much as you can and take a few deep breaths to fold forward. Reach your right hand across to grab the outside edge of your left foot and let your head hang heavy. Slowly rise and take your time as you make your way back to downward facing dog. Then step your feet through to take a seat on your mat for Baddha Konasana fold. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch and give some space between your hips and heels. Rock side to side to move your hips out from underneath you. Then grab onto your feet and inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips and round naturally towards your ankles. Let your deep breath travel up and down your spine as you relax your jaw, shoulders, back, and hips. Another variation you can try is to thread your forearms underneath your shins. It may or may not be more comfortable for you. Slowly rise. Now come all the way down to your back, pull your knees and ankles together, feet flat on the mat, and set up a figure four by placing your right ankle above your left knee. Interlace your hands under your left thigh to pull your legs in a little closer. Keep your right toes flexing the entire time you're in this pose. Doing so will engage the muscles around your knee joint, helping to protect it. Relax any flexing in your hips and soften your shoulders, neck, and even the muscles in your face. And see if you can go just a half inch deeper. Gently release and switch sides with your left ankle on your right knee, hands interlace underneath your right thigh and keep your left toes flexed. Use a belly breath to relax your whole body from the inside out. So as you inhale, push your belly out. And as you exhale, pull your belly back in. Try a few more deep breaths. Just like that. See if you can go just a half inch deeper.
and release. For happy baby pose, grab the inner arches of your feet and pull your knees into your armpits. Try to ground your shoulders and your hips to flatten out your back. And you can hang out here in stillness or try a little movement to massage out your lower back, like rocking side to side. Release your feet and pull your right shin into your chest. Let your left leg extend long down on the mat. Reach your right arm 90 degrees from your side and pull your knee across your body for a big lower back stretch. Let your hip peel up, but try to keep your shoulders grounded. Use your belly breath to deepen this twist. Come back to center and switch legs to switch sides. With your left knee in, extend your left arm straight out from your side, pull your knee across the body, deepen your breath, ground your shoulders, and relax any forcing or flexing. Just soften and melt into the mat. Come back to center and pull both knees in. Squeeze yourself as tight as you can, forehead to knees. Then completely release into final Shavasana. Take up some space with your arms and legs out long. Let your feet fall open and palms face up. With your eyes closed, relax your eyelids. With your eyes closed, relax your eyelids. Soften your jaw and tongue and let your whole body follow in complete relaxation. You're welcome to stay here, but if you're ready to come out, just pull your knees in and curl up on your side. Then press yourself up to seated and bring your hands together at heart center. Thank you for joining me today in this peaceful practice. May you carry some of this peace with you off the mat. Namaste. This routine is part of the seven day yoga challenge. Check out the playlist for a yoga routine for each day of the week. If you're on Instagram and want to take a 7-day yoga challenge for yourself, post a picture of your Baddha Konasana fold with the hashtag 7-day yoga challenge, share your thoughts on your practice today and my YouTube channel so others can join in. Subscribe for weekly uploads every Friday or sign up for my newsletter for regular recaps and updates. See you tomorrow for a morning yoga practice to start your week strong.